and welcome to Cunnery Vision with me, Wayne Bowden. And myself, Joe Della. Catch. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> how am I missing? I'm going to show you how to make beef Wellington blind style. Um, you need some ingredients, and I can't find them. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Culinary Vision with myself, Joe Della. Today I'm going to be teaching Wayne how to make sausage rolls. How hard is that? Are you ready for this, Wayne? We oui, chef, I'm ready. I was born ready. Okay, Wayne, for this, mate, you're gonna need a kilo of sausage meat. Get it from your local butcher. Do not get it from a supermarket. Support local businesses. We've got some apple sauce here. I've got my own here, but you can use bought apple sauce. Two tablespoons of that. Two tablespoons of whole grain mustard. Seasoning, a good old pinch of salt and pepper. Two teaspoons of smoked paprika. And here, I've only got a little bit. I don't need a lot. That's a little bit of time for my garden. Those are the ingredients you'll need. We will put a little note in the description regarding what you need to have to make these sausage rolls. All we have to do is get all these together in a bowl, mix with your hands and get messy. Easy Wayne, crack on. We oui, chef, uh, I have got my pork here uh, from a local butcher's uh, down here in Devon and I've got the rest of the ingredients um, somewhere along here um, that you requested. In. Just like that. Two tablespoons of apple sauce. Two tablespoons of whole grain mustard. Good old pinch of salt. Good old pinch of white pepper. Good pinch or two of thyme. Go crazy on the thyme if you want to. And a good couple of pinches of smoked paprika, get in with your hands, get messy, mix that all together. Nice. Nice. All we have to do now is put it on the pastry. Onion, uh, the onion, you can smell the, the apple and the sweetness of the apple and the, the pork. Well, actually, everything that you put in there, really, I suppose. Right here, Wayne, I've got a joke for you quickly while you're mixing that up. What do you call a fighter who loves sausage rolls? I don't know. What do you call a fighter that loves sausage roll? Uh, fat fighter? Boy? Conor McGregs. Uh, Conor McGregor. Conor McGregs. Uh, Gregs is a bakery. It was funny. Alright oh, then. Alright, let's crack on. Was it funny though? Really? Shocking. 
Okay, right, so for the next step, Wayne, what you need is some puff pastry. Now you can get this from any supermarket in the freezer department. Uh, you can get it in blocks or you can get it already rolled. Obviously I work in a kitchen, so this is my rolled puff pastry. It's just a lot easier and quicker. But you might have to roll this pastry, it's up to you what you want to get, depending on what you can get hold of. Um, but make it really nice and thin, probably not, uh, probably about half a centimetre thick. You want this, part, this pastry a bit thick, but around about half a centimetre in depth. You can do that by just touch and feel and feeling the sides. But equal quantities all over. Yeah, so if you haven't got it rolled, get rolling now, mate. Use a bit of flour so it doesn't stick. Well, I haven't um, been taught how to make pastry yet, Joe. So, um, sorry, chef. Yeah. Um, so I did a, uh, a shop buy and I bought already pre-rolled puff pastry. So, uh, cha-ching, one nil to me. Okay, so sausage meat. Here's my puff pastry, rolled out. Well, not rolled out, it was already rolled out. What I do is get two logs of the sausage meat, equally divided, cut that in half, and then roll it. Simple. I'll do that now on a quick time lapse. Right, Wayne, now that's done, just get yourself a little bowl of water and a pastry brush. What you need to be doing, you need to be getting, what we're doing now is pretty much we're wetting around the sausage meat onto the pastry. The reason for this is that the pastry will then stick together when you roll it, when you roll it all up. Easy. So you're pretty much going around all the edges and then just along the long line in between the two sausage meats. When that's done, get a knife, and then basically cut in the middle of the pastry, dividing the two sausage rolls apart, and then all you have to do is roll it. We oui, chef. Yeah. And you just get your roll, your pastry, and you start rolling, folding it over from the top end to the bottom end. And you just keep on going from one side to the other while trying to roll it all the way across. Rolling it more and more every time you go. And then when you're done and you connected the two ends together, just push your fingers down the sides to seal that all in. That easy. If you can do it, it's all done by touch, Wayne. All done by touch. You can feel a nice sausage roll shape and then you're done. So we'll do it for the other one. Hang on. Wayne, I've got another joke for you. Are you ready for it? Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, am I ready for it? <laughs> Is it going to be better than it? Yeah, go on. How can you make a sausage roll roll? I don't know. Push it down a hill. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Can somebody please get head chef Joe a joke book or something? That's just. At least you can cook better than you can uh, tell jokes. That's for sure. Uh, push it down a hill. You get it? Push it down. Wayne, where is your sense of humour gone, mate? Jesus. If you can't take the heat, get the hell out of the kitchen. Right, there you go. Now all we have to do is cut it up. My sense of humour is fine. It's, it's, it's just your rubbish joke, chef. Ha <laughs>
Hey, I'll tell you what, that's not going too bad, that. Okay, so what I like to do now, cut off the ends. Oh, well, just don't like the ends. You need these sausage rolls to steam when they cook. It's the fat coming out of it, you need some sort of air. So what we're going to do, we're going to be cutting these, roughly, because I'm going to be selling these in the restaurant as well. Uh, we're probably looking, yeah, I'm going to get about eight portions out of that. That one's a little bit smaller than I expected. That's absolutely fine. So these sizes of sausage rolls weigh, they're going to be around about, let's say, around about eight centimeters long. You can cut them however long you want, mate. You can even cook them in exactly whole like this. Obviously, because I'm serving this in the restaurant, I am going to make other sausage rolls as well. But this is the sausage rolls I wanted you to make today. So, with that, obviously that's a little bit smaller for some reason. I'll be cooking that anyway. I'll have that for my lunch. So I've got seven sausage rolls out of this. But again, you can cut these up into nice little size, bite-sized ones if you wanted to. However you wanted to do. Right, chef, I'm going to do mine about two fingers um, long. So that it's easier for the young children to eat. And what I do, I get a nice clean tray with parchment paper on it. I put them on the tray, just like that. Now the next step I'm about to show you is very important for presentation purposes whether you want to do it or not is entirely up to you uh, right so you're gonna need eggs for this next stage uh, Jen do me a favor we are can you just throw an egg at Wayne catch <laughs> <laughs> flipping rubber egg <laughs> <laughs> oh Wayne you meant to catch the egg mate shocking you, you need you need to work on that when you say catch, you've got to be ready. Ready to catch it. Not just stand there like a lemon. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks very much. Okay, Wayne, so next step you've got so far now is just pretty much you've got to glaze your sausage rolls. And then you have to score it. That's what I'm doing. It's entirely up to you if you want to do it or not. So I've got seven here. What I've got next is some egg yolk. Now, you know exactly how to separate an egg yolk from the egg white. It's using your hands, you obviously crack an egg, you open it into your hands, and then you just let the white sit through your fingers, so all you've got left is the yolk. So do two of those eggs, put the yolk in a bowl, get a little bit of salt and pepper, just a little pinch inside the egg yolk, just like that. Get your pastry brush, mix that silk, that seasoning in, and then what we need to do is that we need to brush the whole sausage roll. That's it. Get the sausage roll and just paint on it. Paint it orange, my friend. What this does, it'll give it a really nice glaze, and it'll give it a lot of texture as well, and the taste is really, really good. Gives it a nice bit of crunch. Obviously, you can't see this very well, but honestly, mate, trust me, just do it. Oh, sugar. Just catch it in your hand. Oh. oh, that's horrible. That's it. Put it in the other one. Come on. I still got that white. white it's little. fine. You've got most of it on. And the other one. Oh, I'll try one. and crack the other one out. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Can I just take it out? Right, 
Hey, yo, Wayne, here's a question for you. Regarding sausage rolls, you can have, you can put anything in sausage rolls, absolutely anything. I mean, like I'm doing one as well with chorizo and like a red onion chutney. That'll go on my specials as well this week. But what flavor would you like in your sausage roll? If you were to make one out of anything you wanted, what key ingredients would you use and how would you use it? How, what kind of methods would you do to incorporate that into your mix? Would you do exactly the same? Just mix it all up into a bowl and just put it together just like this? Or would you do it a different way with the methods that you've learned so far on this journey? Um, um, I would like to do a traditional um, well, I'd like to do one with sage and onion, because I think that's a butcher's banger, isn't it? Sage and, sage and onion, but maybe a bit more onion in there. Um, maybe one with, because we used apple sauce, maybe one with mango. Um, mango, because I like mango, so that could be quite nice, quite fruity. Um, I was thinking like that mango chutney that you get when you have an Indian that sweetness. I don't know if you could add like cranberries to it. Um, I don't know. I would do it the same way as this. I would like to be able to make my own pastry and do it. It'd be quite cool. Um, but I would do it the same way as this because this is what I know. That's great, Wayne. Do, do it that way. Try, try that. If it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. It is what it is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, right, so the next stage for making these sausage rolls, before you put them in the oven, is basically a knife, which I'm just waving around, as you do, and you're just scoring. You, can, you don't have to do this. I like to do this just for presentation purposes. I'll give it a nice two or three, maybe four lines across, one way, and then I do it the other way as well. So it gives it a nice, don't know whether you can see that checkered effect on top of that. I'm going to do that to all of these now. Not three on that one because that's a bit small. You should do this on the table, by the way. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but make sure you've got a nice steady service on the table. I'm just trying to breeze through this nice and quickly because I'm currently in the middle of doing a breakfast service and I'm on my own today because it's quite quiet. Um, but yeah, just in case, I have been, I've have done a couple of tickets while I've been editing this. Um, ed editing this while I've been filming this, I've done a couple of breakfasts, so it is a little bit busy out there. But nothing I can't handle. But I am in a little bit of a rush. So that is it. There are your sausage rolls scored nicely. You can't even see the meat in there, can you? Ooh, there you go. So seven sausage rolls. I'm going to be putting these in the oven. Temperature of the oven, 190 degrees, and you're gonna to need to put that in there for around about 25 to 30 minutes, give or take on the oven. So many ovens are different. This is obviously a, a, an industrial oven, gas oven. This is what I'm using. If you're using a fan oven, just keep on checking it. After 20, 25 minutes, you don't wanna burn them. So just keep an eye on it. Make sure you are on top of it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. 20, 25 minutes should, should cook your sausage meat really, really well. If you're unsure, get Jen to check, cut the sausage roll in half after you think it's pretty much ready, just to make sure that sausage meat is cooked. All right, let's get them in the oven. Right, so I'm gonna put mine in the oven as well then. And um, I haven't scored mine because they're, they're a lot smaller. Um, so uh, I'm gonna put them in and um, see how they come out. Let's, fingers crossed with this one. And if you have, tell Alexa, 20 to 25 minutes. I, my other hand, don't have an Alexa in the kitchen. I use my very, very trusty timer. So I'll start that, 25 minutes, counting down. And that'll beep when that's ready. So use your Alexa to give you a 25 minute timer and just keep on checking it, mate. You don't want to burn these, but I don't think you'll burn it in that time. That's it, mate, sausage rolls are in the oven. Clear down your section, sunshine. Don't work in mess. While that's cooking, clean everything down. And then by the time you've all cleaned down, your sausage rolls will be ready. Then you can have your lunch, or dinner, or tea, whatever you want to call it. 
people from Devon have really weird sayings. All right, all right, keep your hair on, pretty boy. I'm, I'm trying to, oh, tie you up. Don't worry, it's, it's, we're, we're, we're on it. Right, while that's cooking quickly, guys, just wanted to ask you a few questions. Well, just about what, what you want to see from us, really. Um, we've got, there's lots of stuff that we've got planned regarding cooking in culinary vision. Um, the, we did a little poll on Facebook as well recently, and it looks like we're going to be doing something like a little pasta carbonara soon, or a pasta arrabbiata, or something along them lines, which is quite kind of good for Wayne. That's a really good method to learn. So that's something we're going to be doing. But what would you guys would like to see? If you could share this video as well, it would be nice to know what other people are thinking, what they'd like to see Wayne do, or something like that. Anything. No, I can cook anything. But I really want to teach Wayne the basics first, but to make it look really, really good and taste absolutely amazing. So, it's very, very hard when I'm in Essex and he's in Devon, right on the other side of the country. So we try and meet up as much as we can, but we're going to be doing similar videos to this, where we can communicate via phones, obviously, um, and see how, what he can do with that. Communication is very, very key. It's in a kitchen, full stop, even if you're blind or not. But regarding the communication, regarding phones and film, it's also very important, especially this way as well, with Jen's help on the other side as well. That definitely helps. So yeah, what I want to know from you guys is what you would like to see us cook in the next few episodes in culinary vision. Simple answer, write it in the comments. Remember to share this video as well. Um, it'll be really good to get the whole world out there about culinary vision. A lot of people do know about us, but people haven't subscribed to the channel. We want people to subscribe to the channel so we can show more and more people around the world what a person who is blind can do with different methods that you and I use every day. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Share, like, go crazy if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel, let your friends and family know about it. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say, pretty much. Um, it's been a very busy couple of weeks for myself, but we will be meeting up very, very soon. Right, that timer is about to go off. Let's see how these sausage rolls will come out, shall we? Alexa, stop. Right. There we go. Look at those. All done. See the crisscross I did. Obviously with the egg yolk, it's given that nice golden colour. Obviously my crisscross where I've been scoring. Sausage meat, I know that sausage meat is done. However, let's probe it, shall we? Here is my probe, whether you've got one or not, Wayne, I do not know. Let's put that right into the middle. 90 degrees. Cooked. Sausage rolls, my friend. Done. Cool. Yeah, mine are done, mate. Mine are done. Nice one, Wayne. The results of that sausage roll, pretty decent, my friend. Congratulations, you've made your first sausage roll. So, that's it. The sausage rolls are complete. You now know how to make a sausage roll. I'm proud of you. Nowhere near as good as mine. However, it's a start. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you very much. Although I do think mine are better. Let's bring on the next one. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Culinary Vision. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Share away, like I said earlier. Like it as well, that'd be even better. Wayne is learning a lot as we go on and there's so much more to come. Alright, Wayne, you're doing well, mate. I'm very proud of you. Cheers, guys. I'll see you soon. It's goodbye from me. Thank you, Chef. Thank you very much. Um, wouldn't be able to do this without you, so thank you. And it's goodbye from me. So thank you very much for watching. Please do not smash that like button, share and subscribe as Chef sets up. Thank you. See you next Wednesday. 8 p.m. And it's goodbye for me, Wayne Valden, the blind angler that can't see anything. <laughs> what? Uh, well, what was that, Blinky? You got something in your eye there, sunshine? <laughs> <laughs>
just realised I'm doing all this filming and I haven't even done my hair. Ugh. Well, I should have waxed. That's what happens when you work early in the morning. You forget to do stuff. All right, fine. I look okay. Hi, welcome to Canary Vision with me, Joe Della. Pretty boy. Oh, my hair's not done. Ah. Mm.